through several of these experiments where we drop multiple things. Uh, please pay attention to the screen now and observe, just pay attention to what you're observing. Please uh, play the clip. So I have one paper sheet. It is un, it's not tampered with at all. Then I have another paper sheet that I'm just gonna crumple up into what we call a ball of crumpled up paper. Which one do you think is gonna fall and hit the ground first? Remember, they weigh the same. It's one piece of paper. All right, ready? Three, two, one. That took a lot longer to fall, right? Does anyone know why? Because it has more surface. It has more surface for the air to push against it. Perfect. It has more surface area, and it has more uh, air pushing against it. The air causes friction. Uh, you will have an opportunity to drop your own objects at the same time and see which one falls faster and explain why. But first, we're going to go through the notes. It says there is a force that makes all objects move, move towards each other, and it is called what? What is that force? Wait, wait, say one more time. It, a force that uh, it makes all objects be attracted to each other. Gravity. That gravity. force is gravity. Okay, yes. Gravity. Okay, yeah. So the Earth is attracted to the orbit of the sun. My body right now is uh, attracted to the, the the ground. And if I leaned over like this, I would just fall over, and it would not feel good. Uh, it is a force of attraction that exists between all objects in the universe. So what objects are affected? All of them. Planets. Ants, uh, grains of sand, even when you drop something in the water, if the thing sinks, it means it's being pulled down by gravity. But we're gonna literally, you should have written this down. For A, you're gonna circle the one that hit the ground first. So you should have already seen that. Hopefully, you don't have to like recollect or go over it. Again, I'm gonna make this into a video we're gonna watch tomorrow. All right, moving on. Gravity depends on the mass and distance. So the Earth is not super close to the sun, but it orbits the sun because it's still, it's like at a certain distance to where it's still affected by the gravity. Uh, the moon is orbiting around the Earth, and it's because it's affected by the gravity of the Earth. But it doesn't fall towards the Earth because it's so far away. If I was here, like swinging a tree, and I lost my balance, I would fall to the Earth because I'm much closer to the Earth than the moon is. Does that make sense? Okay. Most objects falling through air experience a type of friction called air resistance. So we remember what friction is, right? Yeah. It's where things are physically touching. It is a contact force. Um, and air has friction. That's how uh, the paper, it was literally cutting through the air. It's like cutting through the air. Uh, and then the crumpled up ball can literally just fall. That's why bullets are shaped pointy. And arrows. It it breaks because the there's no the surface area. area. Yeah. It just cuts right through the air. They say cars that are pointy have better aerodynamics. That's what it's called. Yeah. It says, for example, a man will fall faster without a parachute. Yes. Uh, but slower with a parachute. That makes perfect sense, right? Have you ever seen those army men where it comes with a little uh, parachute on it yeah. and you throw it up in the air well, and then half the time they don't work, but when they do work, uh, the parachute opens and he kind of falls down slowly. Yeah. But if you took an army man with no parachute and just threw it, it's like you're setting a soldier off to his death. Skydivers, when they're in free fall, are actually affected by air resistance. I'm going to show you what that looks like. When a skydiver jumps out of a plane at 3,000 meters, the speed goes big. If you fall like this, you have bigger surface area, so you fall slower. If you go like this, you fall a lot faster. Gravity immediately pulls her towards the ground, and she starts to accelerate downwards. But air resistance is acting in the opposite direction. The faster she falls, the greater the air resistance. Eventually, the upward force of the air equals the downward force of gravity. When forces are balanced, the speed remains constant. That doesn't mean she stopped falling, it means she stopped accelerating. She's still doing a steady 55 meters per second. And hitting the ground at this speed isn't a good idea. To slow down, the upward force needs to be greater than the downward force. 
When the parachute opens, air resistance suddenly becomes much greater than gravity. The forces are no longer balanced, and this changes her speed. She slows down. Because she's slowed down, air resistance decreases until it balances gravity again, and she reaches a much slower constant speed. Approaching the ground at 5 meters per second is a much better idea. As she hits the ground, there's a thumping great counter force from the Earth, which decelerates her very quickly. What does the parachute do? Um, Besides opening? It gets full of something. Air. It gets full of air. So basically it's catching the air. This is when the parachute opens. It pulls up. And it feels like you're being yoinked up, but you're actually not. You're just slowing down. Kind of think about a car when you slam on the brakes yeah. and it feels like you're like, you feel that force. Yeah. It's really a counter force. This is, uh, this is me. All right, so, um, going back. <laughs> going back. All right, so the next one we're gonna do is, I have two bottles when I was sick. Uh, I was drinking a lot of uh, apple cider. I was drinking hot apple cider. Do uh, uh, you guys know how to make hot apple cider? No. Well, hot apple cider is where you get apple cider and you heat it up. All right, so I'm going to do the same experiment. If you can get a slow-mo clip, that'd be awesome. I don't want this to explode all over the floor, so I'm going to be dropping it on this cardboard platform. Can you see the box in the screen? Um, I got a locker with it. Uh, a little bit. All right, just make sure it's good. If you cut off my head in the frame, that's fine. If you guys want to like move to the seat, you can. This uh, is just how we got to do this. All right, I'm going to release it at the same time. Wait, you want me to go? Are we ready? Yeah. Huh? Make sure you're doing sideways. You can do it, but you can actually get really close. Make sure you can see both. Yeah, I can see them. All right, which one's going to hit first? That, the one, the that one, that one does. This is a lot heavier. Can I have Brian confirm that I have not rigged this in any way? Yes. Is this one heavier? Yes. Okay. These are called packing peanuts, but when you write it down, you can just write bottle of peanuts, even though they're not actually. Bottle of peanuts. If you think it'll be better on that side, I, I trust your judgment. All right. Okay, hold up. Ready? Three, this. two, one. What the fuck? It was exactly the same time, right? How? Can we play that on the big screen? How? Wait, what? <laughs> Look at Steve shaking. Water. No, the packing peanuts. I swear it's the packing peanuts. It was water. No, the packing peanuts. Water. water. Really, the answer is uh, I may have liked it. Might, have, might not have been precise. But it's supposed to hit the ground at the same time, just like the Valentina bottles. Because um, the air resistance of both objects is the same. It has the same surface area.